Tonight I'm making coconut lime verbena soap and I'm going to be using uh, 60 ounces of oil plus this mold, this one over here, the flower mold, and also some extra molds if I need them. Um, and tonight's experiment includes using the vanilla color stabilizer. I haven't used this yet and I got all prepared to use this with my coconut lime verbena fragrance oil only to realize that this says Melton Pour MP Soap on it. So I did a quick research online trying to see if it works. Somebody did leave a review saying it worked in their cold process, but they could have been wrong. Um, and I have in here 2.8 ounces. I'll be your guinea pig, okay? 2.8 ounces of my fragrance oil, and I'm going to be adding um, 1.4 ounces, half of that amount, in this uh, color of this vanilla stabilizer it keeps the soap from turning brown or cream colored because there's vanilla and vanillin in the um, fragrance oil okay so I need 1.4 you're supposed to mix it I had to warm this up some you're supposed to mix it right before you use it and let it sit for two minutes and no longer than no more than um, 15 minutes. There we go. Okay, so I'm your guinea pig. I don't do a whole lot of melt and pour soap making. So we're just going to have to try it here. Um, the INCI name for this apparently is fragrance because you're adding it. One of my concerns about using the vanilla color stabilizer was that it would change the ingredient list on my soaps. I didn't want to change the ingredient list. Um, that was one of my concerns. This is uh, sugar water that I'm going to be adding a little later. And let's move this out of the way. Colors are going to be white and green and green with an in-the-pot swirl. And we'll see how it goes. This is my lye water. And it's got um, sea salt and Tessa silk in it. And this, I think, is about 100. Look, I got a new gadget for Christmas. This is about 140 degrees, and my oils are 74. I don't play with oils that often. All right, let's see how it goes. I used to just mix stuff up and heat things and keep going this way, this thing. And, um, and I didn't have a thermometer to be able to test the, the temperature that well. Now I do. And I see the error of my ways. <laughs> All right, coming through. This is the sugar water. Like that in. Fragrance mixture. I had to warm up the stabilizer if I didn't tell you that already. <clears throat> Apparently, it's for melt and pour soaps because it's at a different pH or something. I don't, we'll see. <laughs> So far, all right, my um, white is back here. Add some to that. These are micas mixed with some of the oil from the batch. Two different greens. Uh, this being very absent-minded earlier tonight and added a little bit of white to the one green. This one, it's a little bit lighter than I want, but hopefully it'll turn out all right. Mixing.
wait, let's add that there. Can you pass me the spatula behind you, please? Oops. Okay, one spatula coming up. Thick. Keep going. Just take its temperature because we can. 103. 93. 97. Okay. Oops. Next this one. I love that color. It's called Peak Green. Alright. Let's do this thing. I'd say we've got a good thick pudding, thick trace. Consistency right there. It's not as white as I want, so we'll see. All right, we're going to put some of this in here and some of this over here and swirl. Bring it into this mold first. I normally only put 30 ounces in this, and I think that they turn out really thin for soaps. So I'm happy to fill this up. favorite fragrances. Coconut and lime. And I also like this little soap mold. That's kind of a win-win. I don't know how it'll look with green soap in it, but there we go with it. I think it works. Just a little interesting. And if I love this fragrance, I think other people will too. It's not just for women. It's a nice unisex type smell. Let's try that. It's much better. Okay, and we'll smooth this one out. I need to wash my hands, so I'm going to decorate the top. You want to pause it? Or? All right, I moved the uh, leftover soap colors into two bags here so that I could pipe something on the top. 
and then do some kind of swirl or something. And it's thickening up, so I'm going to kind of go fast. Can't get that. <laughs> nope, that's not cutting it. All right, go with the spoon and smooth it out. What do you think, cameraman? It's making me think of split pea soup. Hmm. Not the first time I've had split beef soup on the top of a soap. Alright, so how about like this? That's a little bit better, right? You never know what's going to happen with your soap. I can speed this part up. I have cut tops off when I didn't turn out like I liked. Do you know that? It's softer underneath. That's a good sign. And I know you in TV land are going to say, how in the world is she going to salvage that? Well, you'll be surprised. We just keep working it a little bit. Edges. Keep it all in. Now it's going to just have a nice creamy colored top to it. Like I planned it all along. I think I'm going to need a knife. Some chunks. Chunks of pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't have a swirled bottom and the top will be a nice creamy light green. This still look like split medium. Not bad, right? Of course the color will change a little bit with time. I have one more idea. And if you pause the video, I'll prep it. 
All right, I put a little bit of olive oil in here and I'm mixing in some more of my white satin um, mica. Mixing it up and I'm gonna drizzle, on, drizzle it on the top and see if we can get something a little bit more interesting than just a plain green. I'm an artist. I'm going to test this out and see if I can actually get it to do anything for me. Swirl wise or other. Sometimes if you wait until it goes into gel, you can also get it to do a little something. Impressed. Are you impressed? No. I'm not impressed either. You could write our names into the we top. We could write our names into the top because we have an anniversary coming up. This will be for Don and Nancy. Don't tell them our real names. Oh, okay. Sorry, Buck. I really just call him Buck all the time. Well, that's not doing a whole lot for me. I think I like this side better. What do you think, Buck? Yeah, you probably just need to stop and leave it. Yeah, sometimes we soapers need to just learn to stop. But you can tell me what you think. What do you think? Should I smooth over the rest? No, nah, leave it. Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> Doesn't have to all look the same. I like them all uniform. You're supposed to know that. All right. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Or whenever we cut it. Thanks for watching. See you in a little bit. It's a couple days later, and uh, I popped out the molded soaps from the coconut lime verbena. They're right here. They came out really easily, which is good. Um, for this one, I had to cut around the edges and then turn it upside down and it popped out of the mold. And there was a little bit of paper on the bottom, the printer paper that I put on the bottom. It peeled off really well this time, which is good. And I made some cuts around this so as to keep this a little bit faster for here. This is, I'm gonna try doing squares, two and a half inches apart with a little section at the end. So I'm gonna cut this end piece first. I just have to see the line there, connect it with this line here, and push straight down, and hope for the best. I really just like crooked soaps. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, and then, I, oh, I did some more on the top, too. I wasn't happy with it. I guess you can tell that. All right, we'll go from here, this line, to here. Get it straightened out a little bit and push straight down. From here to somewhere over here. Is that it right there? pretty I think and this one here 
can't see my lines anymore. I see it on this side. I must have smacked it on the other side. So we're doing two and a half inches. Oh, look, it sticks. Right about there? Yep. Is that right? Right there. All right, to here. Cut straight down. And there's that. So now I'm going to do the other way. Sometimes it's better not to think about it too much. I could spend all day trying to get these exactly even. There you go. Nice. It's a nice size. It's more than an inch thick, that's for sure. All right. And for this, I'm going to go like this. Line it up and slice. Repeat. And now I'll let these cure for a number of weeks before I post them on my Etsy shop for sale. This is one of my favorite flavors, Four Cents. It's kind of a unisex scent. I smell mostly lemon and other people, or lime, most other people smell coconut. It just smells good. And one more here. So I used 60 ounces of oil and I made those six soaps plus these. And I'll have a few different sizes. Did you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Can't count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, plus this I'll probably use for samples. And uh, that's about it. So I think they turned out pretty well. And I want to thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you're interested. And if not, have a nice day.